My name is Hassan. My family has been fishing here for generations. People might think we're lucky. The Maldives is a beautiful place to live and work. But sometimes, even here, there are challenges. And just recently, life in paradise got a little harder. My father and I operate a traditional dhoni. Boats like this have been used here for hundreds of years, but in the last few decades, they've been modernized. First, the sails were replaced by engines. Then more recently, GPS units came along and made our jobs easier and safer. It shouldn't be hard to navigate one of the world's smallest countries, but with 1,200 islands and countless reefs, our livelihood depends on finding our way quickly to the best fishing sites. Fishing is one of the Maldives' biggest industries, but it comes second to tourism. We sell most of our catch to the resorts, but my father's dream is to take tourists out on trips to catch their own fish, and I'm doing everything I can to learn from him and help save to buy a bigger boat. We catch mostly triggerfish, and if we're lucky, we'll pull in a snapper or even a grouper. Business was going well, until recently when a wave of petty crime swept across our atoll. The thieves knew exactly what they wanted. They went straight for the navigation unit in our boat. It was devastating, but we weren't the only ones. Local businesses on other islands were affected too. The police were quick to act. They knew better than most that if the resorts were to become victims of crime, it would have an impact on all of us. The Maldives has one of the best equipped police services in the world. The crime rate here is very low, but they have a vast area to cover, and in recent years they've expanded their operations and succeeded in bringing world-class methods of criminal investigation to every part of our country. So our hopes were pinned on them, and we had every faith in their ability to catch the culprits. Like anywhere else in the world, police records here need to be detailed, reliable, and easily accessible. All this means processing huge amounts of data, but thankfully the police have the servers to handle the job. Before long, we got the news that the fingerprints on our boat had been matched to a group of illegal immigrants. They were charged with the crimes, our GPS was returned, and my father's plans to buy a bigger boat are finally back on track. <laughs>